want you to hit me as hard as you can. Give it everything you got! You don't know what I've seen. We all need to run. We must face them. Fight them. Hey everybody, and thanks for joining us as we take a look back at the biggest moments and reveals in J.J. Abrams' Star Wars The Force Awakens. Starting us off, we have the big reveal that Kylo Ren is in fact the son of Han Solo and Leia. Funny enough, this revelation was shown pretty early on in the film during the first scene that we're introduced to his master, Supreme Leader Snoke, who we'll be getting back to later on in this list. Many had speculated this theory before the film release, but it was a shocker nonetheless, and the pieces began falling together on how Kylo turned to the dark side. Through conversations between Han and Leia, we learned that Kylo was sent away to be trained with Luke Skywalker, however he and the Knights of Ren turn against Luke, which made him go into hiding. At this point, we don't know a great deal about the events that led to Kylo's fall into the darkness, but we do know that it is his desire to fulfill what his grandfather Darth Vader began by hunting down the remaining Jedi and embracing the dark side completely. There's no doubt that writer-director Ryan Johnson will further explore this idea with Episode Eight. Next, we move on to what is probably the biggest mystery in The Force Awakens, and that's the reveal of Supreme Leader Snoke, who both leads the First Order against the Republic and is taking Kylo Ren under his wing to become one with the dark side. In the film, Snoke appears only as a giant holographic image, which we speculate is simply there to establish his immense power and intelligence, while he most likely is the same size as any other humanoid. Now, there have been several theories as to the true identity of Snoke, including that he may be Emperor Palpatine, even though it's highly unlikely that he survived at the climax of Return of the Jedi. Or perhaps the strongest theory is that he is in fact Darth Plagueis, who was established as being a Sith Lord in the prequel films by Palpatine. Darth Plagueis was a dark lord of the Sith, so powerful and so wise. He could use the Force to influence the midi-chlorians to create life. This again, however, may not be likely for a few reasons, such as Palpatine stating that he killed him while he was his apprentice under the name Darth Sidious, and also that this theory was denied by J.J. Abrams and others earlier on in the year. The most likely theory is that he is possibly just a new character that has some ties with previous characters in the Star Wars mythology. Again, we're sure this will be further explored in the later sequels. Moving on, we have the big reveal of Rey's strong yet untrained knowledge of the Force. This reveal is built up throughout most of the film and is triggered by her up-close encounter with Kylo Ren. When Ren attempts to extract information from her using the Force regarding the location of Luke Skywalker, she is able to not only resist him, but to reverse it and reveal that Kylo is afraid that he will never be as powerful as Darth Vader. This was surprisingly well done, and even comes as a shock to Supreme Leader Snoke upon hearing the news. Later, she attempts to manipulate Stormtrooper Daniel Craig to release her from her restraints, and then finally has a lightsaber showdown with Kylo. While some complain that Rey seemed a little too good at using the Force and a lightsaber despite no training, we theorized having to fend for herself to survive on Jakku was a big part of that development. As to how she has this power, well, there are three main theories. Number one, she could be the daughter of Luke Skywalker. Number two, she's Kylo's sister and daughter to Han and Leia. And number three, that she could be a descendant of Obi-Wan Kenobi. All three have their valid points, and being the daughter of Han and Leia could make sense as this idea was explored in the Expanded Universe stories, and they appear to be about the same age. If handled properly in Episode Eight, this could potentially be the iconic I Am Your Father reveal of the trilogy for writer-director Ryan Johnson. At number two, we have the reveal of Mark Hamill as the great Luke Skywalker at the climax of the film. After combining the map coordinates contained within both R2-D2 and BB-8, Rey along with Chewie travels to the planet where Luke has gone into hiding, in order to return his lightsaber to him and ask that he help in battling the First Order, and of course most likely to train her to use the Force. We're guessing he will most likely be reluctant at first in Episode 8, as the last time it led to betrayal and he lost his nephew to the dark side. It was a bit disappointing that we weren't able to see more of Luke in The Force Awakens or even have a single line of dialogue, but the reveal certainly has his jack for what's coming in Episode 8. 
And finally, we come to what was the biggest gut punch of the film, and one of the biggest in the entire saga, the death of Han Solo. Not only the death of Han, but by his own son's hand, as Kylo thrusts his lightsaber through his own father's chest, sending him plunging into an endless pit. In an attempt to try and bring Kylo back to the light, where we learn his given name is actually Ben, as in most likely Ben Kenobi, Han confronts him head on, and Ben asks if he will help him to end his pain and suffering. Han of course agrees, but what Ben truly meant was to finally cleanse himself of the light and his feelings toward his family so that he may purge them and finally be one with the dark side. This was truly a gut-wrenching moment, as in Han's last moment of life, he raised his hand and stroked Ben's face as a father would before falling to his death. This moment may come back in the future films to haunt Kylo, knowing that his father did love him. What drove them apart is left a little bit vague in The Force Awakens, but we guess that it will no doubt be further explored in the next two films, especially as Leia still believes he can be saved and brought home. Well, that wraps up our top five reveals from Star Wars The Force Awakens. Thanks for joining us for this list, everybody, and be sure to subscribe to Joe Blow Movie Trailers for more exclusive videos, trailers, clips, and more. See you later!